friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have my So it turns out that Rarity and Fluttershy go to the spa together on a regular basis. This isn't the first appearance of the two spa ponies, that was bridal gossip. But this is the first episode where they've gotten a lot of screen time. Typical Fluttershy, not saying anything about how she's not getting the same treatment as Rarity. And probably not even noticing. Anyway, the topic of conversation is that Rarity has met with Photo Finish, a famous fashion photographer, and she wants to take pictures of a model wearing Rarity's designs. Rarity wants Fluttershy to be that model. Oh, goodness, I don't know. Of course, Rarity eventually wears her down and she agrees. Please, please, please! Hmm, she's going to want to see attitude and pizzazz. Uh, attitude and uh, pizzazz. Why did you pick Fluttershy again? The most beautiful creature in the world. Ugh. Promise not to tell anyone. I promise. Cross my heart and hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my eye. Meanwhile, Spike has a big secret to tell. I have a crush on Rarity. Twilight's reaction is spot on. Losing a friend's trust is the fastest way to lose a friend forever. But forever! So anyway, despite this being a thing that everyone already knows, Twilight humors him. I photo finish have arrived. Enter photo finish. What an honor. I love how music plays whenever she's talking. It's like the Duke Devlin gag in Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. This show is basically its own abridged series. No. Yes. No. Yes. I love how she wants Fluttershy to look sad and dejected. I guess this is about as close as you can get to criticizing the modeling industry through parody and still keep it kid-friendly. I'm so sorry. So Rarity is thinking the whole thing was a fail, but it turns out that Photo Finish is pleased with it. Tomorrow a photo shoot in the park. I go. That actually looks really cute on Fluttershy. Just don't forget us little ponies when you become the most famous designer in all of Equestria. But Photo Finish does not like it. Oh, no, 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 no. The model should be in something simple. Something inspired by the nature. And it turns out that she isn't interested in Rarity's fashions, only Fluttershy as a model. You go! <gasps> Poor Rarity. I can't, Rarity. So Fluttershy, of course, feels bad and doesn't want to do it, but Rarity encourages her to do it. You must do this for me. You must. You must! You must! Also, I have to admit this outfit suits Fluttershy a lot better. Rarity is clearly not happy, but she's pretending she is for Fluttershy's sake. I love how it turned out she was making herself a black cloak just because it fit her mood. Want to be alone right now? You heard her. She wants to be alone. <laughs> What? I didn't think she meant alone alone. I think I might have to give Spike best face award just because of that suggestive expression. Nervous. Don't be ridiculous. You're only facing a large crowd of ponies who will be watching your every move and silently judging you. Photo finish is awesome. No go! But anyway, Fluttershy hates being a model as can be expected considering her personality with how she doesn't like too much attention. But she does it anyway because it's what Rarity wants. <gasps> so perfect for my new advertisement! Did I just hear hoity-toity? So Fluttershy's modeling career really takes off, much to Rarity's chagrin. Not to mention Fluttershy's stress. I'm so excited for you! There goes that twitchy eye again. Welcome to Carousel Boutique! Is she still here? We heard Fluttershy was here. Hi, Bonbon! Bon. I'm having a huge sale on some of my best designs! And you are? Like I said, kind of a bitch. Never heard of you. I only need to point and shoot and to capture the magics. Later, Fluttershy gets held up and isn't able to make it to the spa like she said she would. Fluttershy's just too busy with her new career to spend time with her best friend. Rarity confides in Twilight that she's jealous of Fluttershy. Oh, please promise you won't tell her I feel this way. Please, 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 please. Losing a friend's trust is the fastest way to lose a friend. Forever! Pinkie Pie is especially weird in this one. Rarity, 
I'm so sorry, I'm- So after Rarity leaves, Fluttershy finally shows up, and then she confesses to Twilight that she I hates swear. being a model. Pinkie Pie swear. Cross my heart and hope to fly, stick a cupcake in my- ah! Ow! You need to close your eye before doing that, Twilight. Rarity. So I guess Pinkie Pie just decided to spend the day in a bucket of sponges. Oh, what were you about to say? Forever! If you really don't like being a model, you could always quit. Rarity would be devastated. But Rarity told me... <gasps> Is Pinkie Pie now implying that she's going to eat Twilight? Mm, juicy! But yeah, now poor Twilight is stuck in the middle. Both Rarity and Fluttershy confided in her, and she promised both that she wouldn't say anything to the other one. After Fluttershy makes an offhand... off hoof? Comment about how she wishes everyone didn't like her so much so she could stop being a model without hurting Rarity. Twilight gets the bright idea to use her magic and make Fluttershy do unflattering things on stage so she won't have to hurt either of them. Which she confides in Pinkie Pie. This is getting complicated. I zip my mouth closed, then left it with the key, then dug a hole, then buried the key, then built a house on top of the hole where I buried the key, then moved into the house on top of the hole. So later she does just that, with Fluttershy's consent. <laughs> to the horror of the audience, even Derpy is pissed off. But it turns out that Rarity decided to show up and... Bravo! I say bravo! She further supports Fluttershy by encouraging the audience to applaud her. Well, if that fabulous pony likes it, then I do too! Yeah, that's pretty much how it would work. Hi, Lyra. If only Rarity didn't want me to be a model so badly. Ugh, but Rarity... I love how neither of them notice how weird Twilight is acting. Of course she did, because... Finally, Rarity admits her feelings to Fluttershy. How could I want you to fail at something you love so much? But Fluttershy doesn't... <laughs> And vice versa. I was afraid if I quit, you'd be mad at me for not wanting to shine all over Equestria. All this time! If we just told each other the truth! It would have been easier on Twilight, too. I'm sorry, Photo Finish, but I don't think I'll be able to make any of them. What? We go! <laughs> Spike has a crush on Rarity! Like I said, especially weird. I still can't believe you told someone about my secret feelings for Rarity! That was wrong of me, and I'm very sorry. And so ends oh, Green Isn't Your Color. I like this episode a lot, and while I described it at the end of the last video as a Rarity episode, because that's how I thought I remembered it, she actually shares it pretty equally with Fluttershy and Twilight. In fact, it almost seems to start with Rarity, then switches to Fluttershy, and then to Twilight. Along with Pinkie Pie having a pretty sizable part as well. That's an interesting way to handle a story like this. Meanwhile, we get another side character stealing the show whenever she's on screen. In the last episode, it was Sapphire Shores. In this one, it's Photo Finish. By the way, Photo Finish has been described as resembling Anna Wintour, the editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine since 1988. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's based off of her and not Lady Gaga, like some fans have thought. Since the latter doesn't really make sense in the context of this episode, not to mention that she doesn't dress like that. And for Rarity's part, because I criticized Sonic Rain Boom for how it depicted Rarity, and I still stand by those opinions, I will point out that she comes off a lot better in this episode. This is something I can see happening with Rarity. She obviously wants to become famous, but instead one of her friends does, and while she's seething with jealousy on the inside, like anyone would in this situation, and even says some things she probably shouldn't about Fluttershy when she's not around to blow off a little steam, she does her best to hide it and tries to be a good friend. And of course, both she and Fluttershy should have been honest with each other from the beginning, but this is an actual thing that happens in real life. Communication is important in reality. Where Sonic Rainboom had her so lacking in self-awareness that she blatantly tries to steal the spotlight from Rainbow Dash and has to literally almost die before finally realizing that that was a bad idea. But enough about that. Next up is Over a Barrel. I go!
am so frustrated I could just scream. 